An alternative to embedded video or video that streams from a website like YouTube or Vimeo is video that's linked to an MP4 file that sits on a web server. This method is certainly less common than embedded or streaming video, but it can be useful if you need to link to content that's stored on your corporate website or on another website where a direct link to an MP4 file is offered. For this lesson, open the InDesign file for Lesson 205. Then visit this NASA website or any other website that you have access to that offers the ability to download an MP4 video. Now, just to be clear, on this page there is a streaming YouTube version of the video which we could use, but for this lesson we're going to use the direct link to the MP4 file that's offered here. Just right-click on the Download This Video link and choose Copy Link. We could, of course, download the video and embed it in our project, but that might not be legal or perhaps you don't want to add the large file size of the video to your project. Back in InDesign, paste the link into a text frame just to examine it. The link must end in MP4 for this method to work, and you can see that this link indeed features a complete path to an MP4 file. Note that this link is an HTTP link, not a secure HTTPS link. More about this in a minute. To use this link, select this frame on the page. Then in the Media panel, choose Video from URL in the Panel menu. Paste in the URL, and then click OK. Now today's browsers really want secure HTTPS content. But as you saw earlier, the link we're using is HTTP, not HTTPS. To ensure that the video plays properly and to be able to choose a poster frame in the media panel, we have to convert the link to HTTPS. To do this, just run this convert video URL script that's automatically installed by IN5. You'll find it in your scripts panel. All you need to do is select the frame that contains the video link and double click on the script. Now you can choose a poster frame in the media panel and use all the usual settings in the N5 video settings panel to add your desired controller, set it to play full screen, etc. Let's export this and see how it looks. Again, this is probably the least common way to include video in an N5 project, but it's good to have the option for when you need to link to content stored on a server that can't be streamed or that you don't wish to download first.